Hi Leo, welcome to your No Contact Love Reading for September. This is Mary and this is Sunlight and Sight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Leo, this is intended for someone that you are not talking to right now. So you could have, have been in a relationship with them or maybe you, know, you were just dating, getting to know but kind of, you know, fell out from one another. However, this pertains to you where there's no contact between you and your person. So in this reading, we're going to see, we get some clarity, what's going on with them. How are they feeling? Um, will they contact you? You know, just what's going on in their life. So there may be some things that you don't know or do know, but we'll see if we gain uh, clarity on what's going on here for Leo. So welcome in, welcome in everyone. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So this is intended for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, is a general collective reading. So please only take the energies, how they resonate for you, may not be for everyone. Keep that in mind. Could be past, present, or future. I will say the signs as I see them, so take them only how they resonate for you. It could be signs and chart or just the energy. So keep that in mind also. So I'm going to pull you one oracle from each uh, deck here and see what's going on in your person's energy. This is for Leo, no contact, their person, what is going on with their person, Leo's person, whoever they're having um, no contact with, who they are thinking about for this reading spirit, please. Thank you so much. Let's get one from this deck. One. Okay. See what's going on. There will be an extended to this Leo. So if this does resonate for you, and you would like to go to the extended, I will tell you all about that at the end of the reading. All right, for Leo's person, everything you need to know, Leo, is down below in the description box. Decks I'm using, my social media links, your playlists are down there, love in general. If you'd like to check them out, I do consider them timeless, feel free. Uh, your September love connection reading is up, and your general reading. And I'll be doing the singles next week. So if you are returning, or familiar, or even new, have not yet subscribed, Please consider subscribing. Like I said, check it out first. If you do, um, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. And if you do, um, you won't miss out either on any readings. And if you do, thank you. Welcome to the family. And I do four readings a month for each sign. So you get a weekly reading, but each weekly reading is different. I do um, a love connection reading. I do a singles reading, a no contact reading like this, and a general reading. And also memberships are available on the channel. That's something that you're interested in. Um, you can hit the join button and see if that's something you know you would like to do. And again, all the information is down below, description box, top comments. Okay, Leo. Mouse scrutiny. So we have two here. A two is about partnerships, unities, making a decision. But with the mouse, you know, you think of mice as these little pesty uh, intruders that kind of just cause havoc and trouble, uh, just kind of like a nuisance. So they could be afraid of, maybe they feel like they're a nuisance to you for some reason. And they feel like that you may scrutinize them for some reason also. Or they could be getting scrut scrutinized, uh, if I can say that word, <laughs> somewhere else in their life. You know, maybe they just got a lot going on and they feel like they feel like they would be pestering you, you know, if they were to, you know, try to come in, you know, into a deeper commitment or union or something here. Maybe they got a lot going on and they're like, you know, I just feel like I would be a pest right now to my person and I don't really want to be that. And they may just scrutinize me for what I have going on, you know, not really wanting to involve you in what's going on for them. But there is love here. So they're hoping that, you know, you will show some compassion towards them. But there's definitely love and compassion here between the two of you. And they're definitely feeling that energy. And we have Princess of Spring. So this is the Page of Wands. Optimistic, enthusiastic, creative, energetic. It's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons. Let your creativity, creativity take flight. This is... You know, usually a page of wands about fiery, passionate communication, something exciting, news coming in. I feel like they want to reach out to you. They have love. They have passion. They're hoping you'll be compassionate towards them. But for some reason, they feel like more, like they they would be more of a pest to you right now. And you would kind of scrutinize them um, for some reason. So let's see what's going on. Are you a person, Leo? 
Why do they feel this way? Why do they feel this way? You can see the energy here, like they do want to reach out. There's definitely love here between the two of you. All right, so let's see what is going on for you, your person, for Leo's person. Spirit, please, thank you so much. We got three. <laughs> there you are, Leo, strength. King of Cups in the Nine of Pentacles. So maybe this person is trying to become single, you know, stable, grounded in their own right. Um, I feel like they want to have enough. They want to give you enough. They want to have enough to offer. They want to be very stable, secure, and grounded. And they could be, be coming in that energy, but there definitely is love here. we got Pisces with the King of Cups. There's definitely love and emotions here. And you can see them trying, you know, think about sending out that message of love, that communication to their Leo. <laughs> strength energy here uh, very strong energy and you have the infinity symbol here so you could have had past lives with this person um, they definitely do have strong feelings but they're taming themselves and tempering themselves but um, they are single I do feel like they they are single here but they're holding back their energy with the strength card and holding back uh, communicating, you know, love and affection. And they could see you as also very someone, very beautiful, stable, secure, grounded, independent. It definitely is an independent energy. All right, what else? Why are they in this? Why are they in this energy? I feel like, you know, they would, I feel like they feel like they would just be a pest to you. Five of Pentacles. So they could just be lacking in their life right now. Again, you know, could have been energy of the past. Financially, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so I feel like they taking steady steps forward to regain their stability. Because if he grabs his pentacle here, this would give them the Six of Pentacles, which would be balance. So I feel like they, you know, making slow, steady progress, or they have um, moving forward to more stable, secure energy, Taurus. So again, rebuilding their finances, you know, be becoming single, independent. Maybe they had to move, get a new apartment, a new house, relocate, and you know, they could be coming out of a long-term commitment marriage, or maybe they got a new job, they had to relocate. You know, something ha you know, happened here where they're uh, more stable and secure. Maybe they were just out of work for a very long time. Feel like, you know, they would be depending on you if they got into a relationship because they weren't working. Um, kind of energy so I feel like they had to re you know take those steps necessary and move forward and I feel it was a very slow energy like it took them a long time maybe a couple of years to kind of um, get out of this energy but they definitely do have love here but they're not saying it and they're holding back their energy with the strength card all right what else here for your person Leo four of pentacles yeah definitely energy of holding back being a little stubborn, maybe, but energy of holding back. Two cards are holding back here, how they truly feel. A lot of pentacle energy, a lot of pentacle energy. So they could have uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn in their chart. Or again, this is all around their career and finances. You know, they want to be sure that if they come into some sort of connection relationship with you, that they can be... Um, not so much provide for you, but can provide for themselves so that they can be in that energy of someone who is dependable, who is secure and grounded, and not someone that has to sponge off you or take from you or anything like that. They don't want to be that pesty kind of energy, I feel. Three of Swords. So this is the before tarot. So this is not quite yet at a broken heart, but it could happen. So they could have fear of rejection. They could have fear, you know, this could turn into something which could break their heart. You know, being left, you know, abandoned, left out in the cold, which could lead to a broken heart here. So they may have fear of rejection. That's why maybe they're staying single. All right, what else here for you, Leo? Why is there no contact from your person? Hangman, yeah, they're hung up right now. Pisces energy. But, you know, the hangman gains enlightenment and new perspectives, and then they take action. So definitely on a standstill right now, the hangman being a little hung up. Yeah, thinking 
healing, contemplating, rejuvenating their energy, but holding back how they truly feel. I feel like they're really working on themselves heavily around career work and their finances, I feel. And, you know, and maybe you're doing good. Maybe you're making your money. You know, you're stable, you're secure, you're grounded. You don't have to worry. And they're not quite yet up to your level, I feel. So they're working hard, and it's been a slow, steady uh, progress for them. So that's why they're holding back with a 4-4, four, four, which is about stability. So they, you know, they... <laughs> They know they have to be just as stable as you are or they feel like you may reject them or scrutinize them or think they're just being kind of pesty, needy or whatever here. So let's see, what do we want to clarify here for you, for Leo? What is this Five of Pentacles about? Why are they feeling? I'm, uh, again, I feel like it's heavily around work, career, and finances. Six of Cups. So returning of the soulmate. So I definitely feel like here... They'll be returning. King, of, Queen of Wands. So it's Aries energy, or they could be a fellow fire sign. So I feel like, and you see, you know, they have the sunflower here, which is bright and blossomed, which is that growth and expansion. So I feel like once start, things start to grow and expand for them, and they're up to your level, because you are a fire sign. So when they're up to your level, I think they're going to return here. But they're just lacking a lot right now. I feel nine of cups. So yeah, happiness, joy, uh, wishes and dreams coming true. So their wish and their dream is to be with you. But right now they have to fill their own cups because he's filling these cups right here. So they have to fill their own cups first. And I feel like it's heavily around their finances, career. Could be emotionally um, in some way. I'm not really getting that they could be drinking or anything like that, but I mean, it could be. So why is the hanged man here? we got two cards of Pisces, um, hanged man and the king of cups, but I mean, they don't have to be a Pisces. So why is the hanged man here? Ten of cups. So <laughs> before we come into, we have to come out of the rain first before we come into this happiness and joy, happy home and family, total fulfillment in every way. Things are still a little cloudy right now for them, and they're not, not quite ready to step into this um, happiness and joy, fulfillment. King of Swords, Gemini energy. They are very clear thinking. They know exactly what they need to do, how they need to do it. They have a plan. They're being practical, um, analytical, logical about this, and saying, okay, you know, once I'm up to Leo's stature, and, you know, I can come out of this rain and not have so much of this rainy energy around me. Then I can come into my Leo with a lot of uh, clear-cut energy, clear-cut communication, um, divine clarity. And, you know, cutting away energy is no longer serving them. So that's why they could be a little cold right now with this King of Swords energy. So we can get one more for the um, Hangman. Queen of Pentacles, wow, so, so this could be uh, Capricorn, doesn't have to be, but yeah, they have to become king or queen, they have to become king or queen of their domain before, and they're very clear of that, before they can um, come to you and level up, so that's why they're holding back, that's why they're holding back. <sighs> All right, so let's see anything else here. Yeah, three of swords, the four of cups. So this is, you know, about an offer, debating whether or not to give an offer, take an offer, just kind of filling their own cup, drinking from their own cup. So they're afraid, you know, to come forward with a love offer or move forward with a love offer because fear of a broken heart. They get rejected or scrutinized. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius now. We have temperance here. And I just saw the wheel. So one more for the three of swords. Six of Swords. So they definitely want to move forward in a much more healing, balanced place, leaving all this rocky water cloudiness behind. But right now they're afraid to do that, to move forward, make that offer to move forward because they have fear of rejection and a broken heart. Yeah, they're working on themselves here with the Eight of Pentacles. But they definitely want Soulmate Twin Flame Union here with the lovers. They see you as their lover. Seven of Wands. So they're just kind of, you know, it's about 
Seven of Wands about, you know, having their walls up or being a little defensive on guard or fighting for something. But, you know, this is kind of like a meditative state before we take action, praying that everything will be fine for, wow, brand new beginning in love here with the Ace of Cups and jumping right in with the Fool energy, Aquarius resetting at zero, jumping right in. And this could lead to commitment and forward movement in love with the Knight of Cups. So we have Taurus and we have Scorpio. So they're going to be coming in here with an offer of commitment and a new beginning in love, jumping right in. But they have to be a match to you. And I had said that once they feel they're up to your level and you're a match to you in your energy, then this can move forward. Right now, I feel like they they could be just scrutinizing, scrutinizing themselves for no reason, reason at all. But we have a divine counterpart here, divine match, soulmate, twin flame energy. So we have Virgo. This, again, could be signs in the chart. So they have to be up to your level. They feel like um, they have to be a match to you, Leo. Wow. Okay, Leo. So we're going to go with the extended reading. And we're going to see, uh, you know, when they're going to shift and change out of this energy, how they may come forward. You know, if, you know, how, when, if, you know, they come forward. I do see they will. But we'll see if, uh, you know, when that could be, the future of this connection. And I'll use a separate tarot deck for that. I'll pull three new oracles on the future energy of them and the connection. Um, using this tarot deck to clarify sexual magic. We'll get some energy, how they feel about you intimately. And then I'll use the Hidden Truth Oracles to get some uh, messages on your connection, which could be from you to them, them to you, or from the universe, and see what's going on on the future um, with this person. Okay, Leo, uh, if you go, I'll see you there. Again, links are below, um, top comment, description box, Vimeo, Patreon. Vimeo is a one-in-time purchase. Patreon is a monthly membership, but you get access to all extendeds from all my readings on YouTube. They do charge the first of the month. It is a monthly membership. So now would be the time to join. So whichever works for you best. So if you go, I'll see you there. If not, best of luck to you and sending you many light, love, and blessings. And always, always shine your light.